Well, Heather, the state of the county address is really a celebration of all things Macomb County, and rightfully so. County officials want to promote the county. But I did talk about some issues like the bribery charges that they didn't really want to discuss at the address as well. We created Make Macomb Your Home as a call to action. Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle put on a polished performance in the state of the county address, highlighting big wins for the county, including growing jobs in the IT industry, the first year of Jimmy John's Field in Utica, and opening the first family resource center. Public officials don't create jobs, but we create an environment where we start to highlight what our assets are. Hackle wants to see the county continue to grow in automotive, defense, and manufacturing, but there have been some issues plaguing Macomb County. Three county trustees have been indicted on federal bribery charges. A fourth is being sued, and the feds have said it's all part of an ongoing investigation into systemic corruption in Macomb County. That was not mentioned in the address, but Hackle says it's unfortunate. Yeah, there's always that question of trust with public officials. Hackle says he thinks it's just a few bad seats. But I got to believe 99% of the public officials that are out there are trying to work together, trying to do the right things, trying to get things done, and uh, aren't taking bribes, aren't taking money from people. I also talked with Hackle about some of the public accusations made by Warren Mayor Jim Fouts, and I'll tell you those, tell you what he said about that coming up on 7 Action News at 11 over on Channel 7. Live in Macomb County, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Brianne.